All right, so here's how you get a design from Hotfix era to the Spangle Elite. As you see, we've got our lion design here, all kind of previewed in six millimeter stones, and that's gonna translate, of course, into six millimeter spangles. And you can see the stone count down here. It's all the same as when you design anything in Hotfix era. The only thing you're gonna do is go up here and go to File. And when you save, you're going to save, export, send Hotfix file. And then you're just gonna choose uh, depending on what options you have here, you might have a cams machine or a cutter. What you're going to do is choose this DST file, AAS sequin. And this option, uh, this actually has a great option. I've set my, I can set my work area here to let's say 14 by 12 inches. And it will show you how many designs will fit. So, you know, if you look at the grid down here, this is just going to fit one. But I could see, you know, if it fits two side to side. Well, there you go. So I could now do two designs. Um, and then once I'm ready, I'm going to put this back down to one. And I'm just going to hit export. And I'm going to save it. And this is going to be called Lion Test. And I'll just save it to the desktop. Save it as a DST file. And save. There you go. Now in the next video, you're going to see how you can take that file, open it up in the Spang Elite software, and make your transfer. So you've already seen how to save the file. We used, I think, our Lion file as an example as a DST file from Hotfix Era. What I'm going to do now is actually compile the design. Now what this process is, is that is this is taking that DST file and making it an ASP file. So I'm just going to go to my desktop here where I have one of those files. And there we go. It's the lion. I'm going to open it up. And then you'll see automatically it's going to give it a new file name. And that's a lion. And this one is 6 millimeter uh, ASP. Now it's really important if you are going to do multiple versions of a file that you rename it as a DST file. Because you'll see I can't change the name now. So I'm just going to do save new file. And now I'm going to go to design read, and you only have to do that once, of course. And I'm going to look for my Lion ASP file, and there you go.